Hello my favorite people and today we are in Goslar so today it's 29 of April and we are going to spend very interesting magical weekends in this area of Goslar so I'm quite excited today it's quite fresh a bit foggy and it gives a certain move, mood of mystery and uh, yeah let's spend this amazing time together with me What is very nice about this city is that there are so many historical buildings like old-fashioned houses and traditional North German architecture. So I even see that someone on the top of the roof make a, a fire probably inside because I see some smoke going out and guys right now i am in the center of the city let's come closer to the fountain nice So interesting that there is a lot of churches around. And this is a hotel. Look at this guy. Do you think it's a historical thing or something new? <gasps> Guys, look at it. Okay, this is something. <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> so, first thing I decided to leave one of my back in the hotel that I am gonna stay and to go to this hotel I went up so you can hear my breathing but it's a good training if the hotel is a bit upstairs uh, a bit up on the hill then I can train so because it's 8 40 around uh, I'm not sure that someone is already wake up and uh, if the host allow me to leave the back I'll be happy and then I can come back later Uh, I went inside and uh, the host uh, and the guests uh, that stayed this night, they had a breakfast, so uh, 
He was very kind and uh, I told him uh, I need to leave my bag if it's possible and uh, he said yes yeah, sure and uh, the room is not ready sure because it's early morning I said don't worry I will come later I just need to leave my bag and uh, he was uh, very gentle and kind he gave me a key so I have a key but uh, it's not urgent so I can come later and now I have more than one hour before one of the main things why I'm here in Goslar because today it's the meeting and uh, some training and some talks with one of the more successful esoteric uh, Lilia Noor so I'm quite excited to uh, meet her in person and also some other talented people and have some talks so I have some time before going here and uh, yeah during this time I will go around the city maybe take some nice cacao or something Valpuric uh, night here uh, will be tomorrow. I tried to buy tickets via <laughs> website, but um, it didn't work. So I wrote several messages to the organizer, like how can I buy the ticket? Um, still waiting for the answer, but if they don't answer me, I will come back to the touristic office and. Uh, check <laughs> if it's possible to buy tickets you know these historical buildings are so they have a certain history and when you look at them you just try to imagine that some many many years ago the people were living here you know, waking up in early morning, going to the bakery and doing some regular stuff in their life. So it's a very interesting feeling of the past. get the book. Let's see if I can find it in Goslar. So they didn't have Goethe. And this is so Cornish, I would say. In German it calls strange. Like uh, it's very difficult to find some famous writers' books. In Germany, I went to several bookstores in my city and I found only like one bookstore with only one part of Goethe, so not two parts. So I assumed that maybe all people already book uh, and buy this book or maybe it's not so popular to read it because this is so famous art work and I assume that it should be in main bookstores in Germany but uh, people say that I can order it and then I can take it yeah but it would be nice if it would be already in the bookstores I would say so maybe let's try it Oh, 
Hallo. Decorated. Totally decorated. It smells um, like uh, very strong uh, berries and the tea. So when I enter to this place, I feel this is so strong smell. And uh, I see that there is also tea and some spicy things that you can put on the food and some chocolate, some honey and some tea cups. So I will look around. As I see, this is the special tea for this region, Harze. So <laughs> I think I need to ask for help to search for the right tea for me. So I decided to take um, Berg tea and look how they pack it <laughs> as a gift. And also I take one for myself and it smells very, very nice. And if you go and look on the things, it's a lot of nice green things inside. <laughs> So cool. I really recommend people to come here. Ура! Ура! Hallo. This is a timetable for the for, for the, the bus, bus to go up. You yeah? have to take. Mm -hmm. So you have to be careful. Mm -hmm. um, you have to enter it at the rail station. Yes. But you see, sometimes mm -hmm. you have to leave it. Then you are mm -hmm. directly in town. In okay. Uh -huh. um, sometimes there's a time. Uh -huh. Sometimes there is only driving through. Okay. Uh, so you see, you have to take a look for Sunday. Uh -huh. And then you see. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's a time. Yes. When does it start in Goslar? Okay, understand. Do you understand what? Because sometimes he's driving through. He doesn't mm -hmm. stop in Hanley. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. So I just left the touristic office <clears throat> and uh, yay, I bought uh, this kind of ticket to go up to the hill tomorrow and um, the lady, she was very nice, she explained me the schedule of the bus because sometimes the bus uh, stopped on a certain place sometimes not so i have to be careful and it's also weekend so she explained me and i'm very <laughs> thankful for that uh and uh yeah i got a program so i will check so tomorrow i'm more or less prepared she's not sure about the bus she said that to take a ticket in this bus you have to order it pre-order it but i read it in the internet that you can buy the ticket directly inside the inside the bus so i will ask the girls the woman from the workshop today maybe they have more information about that so far i'm just happy that i finally get it and yes looking forward Сейчас мы с этой. Ну, 
So right now we just uh, finished a short excursion in the city of Goslar uh, with the people with whom we had uh, a short meeting and short training and uh, yeah we found out a lot of interesting places about this city so basically I will <laughs> make a certain comment. I think one of the most uh, exciting thing is uh, that I saw the house of uh, Goethe. So, yeah, I do know that he was also living there, but it's uh, it's very <laughs> impressive. I think in this spoon there is a small man like a yoga. Do you also have Let me check. Yes, it seems like it's yoga. Oh my God. Ah, Просто сейчас, так как мы элегантные, правда? Вот. Да, да, да. да. Вот, 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 вот. У меня даже девочки было. из диффузоров, вот эти да. вот э, палочки, они не имеют ройха и потом дома. So guys, um, we are with my new friend Victoria, and we order the same food. It looks like something very tasty and very healthy. So yes, uh, after this uh, long uh, evening, after the workshop, we decided to eat something. So let's try that. I'm just um, say goodbye to my new good friend. Um, she's right now in the train to go back home. And uh, yeah, uh, I would say that today was a very productive day. A lot of communication with great and amazing people and uh, just to give you more information that uh, today the workshop like small workshops where we mainly talk about a lot of topics um, about life about esoteric and the unique things was also the way not only how the day went in the city but also how different and great people I met today and have a communication surely all of them are different I feel that surely there are different kind of energy and energy flow of all of them but overall I'm very thankful for today and uh, yeah uh, this person uh, this girl she gave me a lot of things and thoughts that I think I have to hear right now and I hope I hope some things that I told her today was also useful for her so yeah this is kind of moments that you meet some people and uh, hopefully in the future you will see them again or you will stay in contact and share some knowledge, share some experience that will be very valuable. That's what I, I, I love while traveling, especially solo traveling, traveling alone, because when you're traveling alone, when you go to workshops, seminars, or even if you stay somewhere around outside, or you're staying somewhere in the city or in the hostel, you meet a new people every day. If you don't want to meet new people, you just stay in the hotel alone and close the door. But if you are an active person, you are always have a chance to meet someone. Even if you don't know perfect language, there is always other ways to find some people. So 
let me cross the road because <laughs> I'm trying my best to make it ecological and uh, right now I'm going back to the guest house so I think I need something like 20 minutes to walk from the train station uh, let me close this thing again so I just wanted to tell you some words about today day so after the workshop after speaking and eating together we had uh, a small excursion around the city and uh, um, that was valuable because uh, there was some parts of the city that I saw today morning when I was walking alone but there was some historical parts or there are some historical things that I didn't know about the city and didn't read about that in the internet so um, Galina so the person she's living here and she has her own store here she show us the city and uh, it was very kind from her side and uh, I'm looking forward for tomorrow because uh, tomorrow I'm going to do some other interesting things that I'm going to share with you in the morning and uh, right now what I need is just to <laughs> to have some rest and go to the guest house take a shower take some rest prepare for tomorrow and uh, yeah that's what I'm gonna share with you right now and people say that Goslar is also amazing and sometimes even more amazing during nighttime so right now it's 10 o'clock in the evening and I'm gonna show you some part of the city So this is the house of Goethe, at least, it says like this, so, interesting, this is incredible when you see the moonlight that are going on the top of the roof. see maybe a bit of stars and this is so quite peaceful and at the same time so magical so this is the place that I will stay during this weekend I see my bag. He was kind to bring it to me. So, oh, I have my 
on one and uh, the rest the bathroom are in another place so let me check so it should be Good morning, guys. So right now it's uh, eight o'clock. Uh, the train should start at eight, but um, there was a announcement that it would be late 15 minutes so I thought then I will have a breakfast let's see okay it's already full it's working very nice on weekend and uh, yeah let's see what they have inside <laughs> What's nice about Goslar, I just took um, cacao and uh, when I was leaving the entrance of a bakery <laughs> I was saying, oh in Shulibum, can I, sorry, can I go? Because there are a lot of people who want to take a bread <laughs> from bakery and the uh, guy, uh, uh, he said uh, post, so it's like <laughs> have a nice drink <laughs> but generally people say that when they are drinking some alcohol or something but uh, it's so nice to see uh, a certain sense of humor and <laughs> you know it gives you a good mood and uh, yeah I was smiling <laughs> and saying thank you so right now I'm going to the train station again so it seems like my baby is coming yes let's go I have two minutes <laughs> to go inside Welcome to bed, heart. So, temperature-wise, I feel here it's fresher. If you compare it in Goslar, and uh, if you look on the architecture around, you can see the difference. Because in Goslar, you will see a lot of historical buildings and the old-fashioned architecture here it's more modern so far when I'm entering to the city maybe if I go down I will see 
more so right now the goal is um, that I have to find a place to have a hot tea uh, to go because um, when I go up to the hill because today my goal is to go to a special place Goethe Weg so to go on the road of Goethe to the hill Brücken and I will speak about this hill a bit later just want to tell you that I know when I will climb up I need to have a hot water with me or hot tea would be nice with lemon uh, because in the place where I stayed uh, in Goslar uh, there was no chance to make a tea by your own and uh, uh, yes so I thought I will try to find something here and if I'm lucky maybe I will have a breakfast to have some more energy to go up and then uh, let's see after that I will go to take a bus to go a bit down geographically to start my hiking and now it's like 8 30 and it's so quiet it's very very quiet here and i see only a great group of guys i think from india i think there are like 20 people yes something around 20 people and they are going to the center probably they are searching the same as i uh, some water <laughs> and maybe some food so let's see what's around in this place I see coffee house probably they have some breakfast I see some sweets but maybe they have some breakfast look So uh, you see, oh, it's like the breakfast for wolf, wolf, and they have different kind of breakfast, but all of them are have bread, so it's not very nice for people who have bread and free things. Bathhouse is like one station close to the train station and here this is the way so if you start from the other station then uh, just from the Benhof and then this is my station Turf House from this one I will start my hiking way and yeah here we can see the timing so the bus should come at 9.21 around this time and uh, yep in a few minutes it should come so in Goslar I bought this ticket for one day for 9 euro 20 and I also put Tov house as a zone 
so this ticket is valid um, during the day today but I'm not sure if it's uh, acceptable inside the bus so when I enter I will ask the driver if I can still use this ticket not only for the train if I can use this ticket for the bus because yeah I mean I can read the information but I just need to be sure that it's working inside the bus too that I can take it so the train is full of the people seems like most of them take it from the first um, bus station near the train station and uh, yeah it's full of people who will hike seems so and uh, yeah my ticket is still valid so when you travel from Oslar you can just take one ticket from the main train station and put um, the last station and then yeah you can use that as a bus too so let's wait in some minutes we will be in the place Guys, I am in Top House station and uh, before going to hiking I want to see what's around. One of the first thing what I see is the shop for the outdoor hiking. So it seems like opened and I think people who are starting their way probably they are staying. Here, and there is a map. So I need to have a house. It seems like there is some equipment for hiking. I'm curious what is it inside. So let's check together. Tomorrow it's working. There are some, it's not a painting, it's like pictures and some creative things. Oh, this is nice. This is cool and it smells nice. So for people who like foxes. <laughs> is it candle or not? Yes, it's candle. Interesting. This is interesting. So this is a thing, I think. Plant based meat free. High protein. So it has soya. And seems like protein, vegetable protein. And it costs 250. I want to try that. That's interesting. Uh, yeah. The other things I saw in some other places, but this one is the first time, so I will check it out. And here there are a lot of things for hiking. So, uh, if for example you forgot something, yeah, you can even take some stuff here. So far I have everything with me, what I need for this hike, but uh, I, will, I want to try this one. And uh, yeah, most probably, look, they even have 
coffee maker, Italian coffee maker. <laughs> That's so sweet. So, um, the first way that I can walk and then come back in the same way yeah. from Brücken, and the second way that I can take a bus, no, a train. Uh, train. It's an old train. Okay. Okay. But the uh -huh. train doesn't stop here. You must go to Schirke. To Schirke. Schirke, Schirke, Schirke. I don't find to use Schirke. I don't see. Ah, there. Uh huh. <laughs> Schirke. Ah, so it's yeah. not going directly from no. the Brocken. So I have so, to. So go. it's go. It's go ah, directly okay. from the Brocken. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But uh, the next uh, stop here uh -huh. is uh, Schirke. And okay, so you I must understand. go from from Schirke. Uh -huh. Um, to Braunlage with the uh -huh, bus and uh -huh. the bus from Braunlage mm -hmm. directly to Torfos. Okay, Bank. short question How long basically it takes to go to Broken by two and a half? Two and a half hours? Yeah. Okay, maybe. But most of the people manage to go by foot, right? Uh, and yeah. yeah. I think it's it's better, right? Yeah. That's what I feel. Okay, I will not be lazy and I will do it. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, so yes. Just, just to maybe I will, just case. I will, I will check it and take some photos at least, yeah. because it looks very nice. Yeah, you, okay, you see the, the train when you walk yeah, yeah. Uh, up. So you see the train. Yeah, yeah. So then I will just come back here and I go on the Goethe way. And short question: uh, yeah. Is there any um, around? I see there is some restaurant, but I just it's need a hot tea or something just to go. Yeah. In front. Exactly in the front. Yes. Of us. It's called Brockenstube. Brockenstube. Yes, yes, I see it. There you can get a tea. Okay, perfect. And this is national park. It's not. Uh... It's um, a visitor center ah. from the national park. Ah, so it's not uh, in for tourists. Yeah, yeah, too. They do that. Okay, understood. If you, if you ask uh, how to go to the Brocken, they okay. But tell you the but way. you are the best mm -hmm. to explain me. Okay. <laughs> Van der Man. Wonder woman, it's like the woman who hike and go uh, like in the nature, and uh, the guy who also do that and hiking. <laughs> this is so cool. And uh, yeah, these people from this nice shop. It's also touristic information here, and uh, uh, the workers were so nice and kind, and they explained me. In details how to go because I google everything but still I want just to to be sure and clarify certain details and uh, yeah now I know where to go before I start I just want to to take additional water or maybe additional tea I will check that I am totally complete and I can go so she recommend me this place, Brokenstube, and also there is some national park visitor center, it's right here, and I see some nice view ahead, so I will try to come a bit closer and to see what is around here. Yeah, it seems like people also can start the way here, but I want to follow the original Goethe way, so I have to go like in this direction first. And uh, yeah, this is some messages that you have to take care about the nature and do not throw away the moon. But as you can see, people start their way from here. And uh, this is nice art piece. So this is our mission, Brücken in the National Park Hearts. I have vegan cupcakes. I'm not sure that you can see that. Yeah, you can see that. Erdbeer or ananas? Ananas, bitte. Yeah, ein. Ein Stück bitte. Yeah, gerne. Yeah, danke. So I just got the hot uh, water and the tea. Zum mitnehmen, bitte, yeah. 
Dann sind es 5,50 Euro. Und 50 Cent. Kann ich mit Karte bezahlen oder ja. nicht? Okay, dann ich muss ich alles suchen. So, I have this vegan ananas cupcake. Never seen something like this. I think it's the coconut. I have to check it. So I will firstly make my tea and start. And the owner was very kind because I don't have a lot of cash. And uh, yeah, it was close to <laughs> skip the cupcake but at the end they said no 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 just keep it all fine so they were very kind Let's we'll spend some minutes and review this vegan ananas cupcake. So, as you can see here on the top, there is some cream, and down there is some bread structure. It smells like ananas. It's very fresh it's very um, you know sometimes you can eat some sweets or cookies and they're dry so here it's fresh and in the middle I think there's some piece of um, how it's in English you know when you have a, um, wine stuff and then they're dried and you put it in the bakery you guys write in the comments what it means mm. Mm -hmm. Here is definitely ananas and the cream has coconut stuff on the top. Mm, I'm not sure exactly what's inside the cream. M maybe <laughs> again, it's uh, coconut butter, but I'm not sure what else. I have to check. I think they also put some um, a bit of nuts. I'm not sure exactly which nuts, but it's very small, very fresh, and uh, yeah, just drink a tea or take something and eat it. I really recommend that. I didn't expect that here I will find first vegan thing, especially sweets because. During travel, it's more or less impossible to find something like this, but I found it and it's very tasty. So everyone who will come here to go up to the Brocken, just come to this place and try it out. I love it. Mm. It is around eight kilometers to go to Brocken, and uh, this is the start of the way. This is the start of the way and it calls Göttenek. So this is the way of one of the most famous writer, German writer. And as you see there, a lot of people are here who start the way to go to the bridge. Sorry, to go to the <laughs> mountain. Broken, and I also start my way. Seven kilometers.
so today we are very lucky with the weather it's like sunny with very small clouds so the sky is so blue and when you look on the water you can see this blue sky you can see that a lot of trees are felled and cut sadly with trees probably there will be more atmosphere and more shadows at the same time you feel it you feel like some roads are like from fairy tales and you can hear the birds are singing and this is the atmosphere of this place it's quite warm here I was talking before this uh, trip to the people who already made this hiking and they told me that in, in March and in April it's quite cold here and still you even see the snow but today it's 30 of April and it's very close to a summer time so it's so warm <laughs> it's so warm here so I take out my jacket and walking I think I am uh, still left of around three kilometers and uh, you know when I was walking I was remembering the situation that happened to me in Jakobsweg so uh, this uh, time I was thinking about the situation that on summer 2022 when I made Portuguese Jakobsweg I met a very lovely people. There was a family, the woman from Germany, with several kids. And the kids were from different ages. All of them have backpacks, big backpacks. And all of us who were walking were so impressed. Like, wow, you're so strong. Your kids are so strong that they're making this way. Surely they make it like shorter. Sometimes they use public transport, but still, it's very impressive. And uh, we were talking, talking, and then the lady told me, Hey, but you are living not so far from Brücken. I was like, Brücken? And she said, Yes, Brücken, one of the famous place where Goethe was. And uh, she said that one of the first hiking that she made with her family, with her kids, was here, in Brocken. And look, some months later, I am here. And that's so great and so excited. And I remember she told me, yeah, we went to the Kips up to, up to the hill. And then we walk around several times. So, you see, it's so interesting to travel around and share some knowledge so four kilometers up to the hill so it's quite close I was mistaken I thought it's already three kilometers but still there are some four kilometers and as you can see a lot of people are going up to the hill so have to look more on the briefing brief first on the nose and then take the air out of the mouth slowly let's train it now Right here, this is the top of Brücke, and on this side you see the railways. I assume that 
This is a railway connected with other closer city and uh, as you remember the lady in the touristic office place and uh, the shop she told me that yeah the train is going here so probably this is this way Here you can see the view, we're so high. This is Goethe. Um, I'm in the restaurant here and uh, I took uh, chili vegetarian stuff with rice and also with me yesterday I bought the salad so let's see if I'm able to eat both of them and cool things what I found is let me show you citronensaft so it's lemon juice I will try to put it 
maybe in the tea or in the water later on so a lot of meal <laughs> let's see if i will handle it so here you can see the famous stones and um, what's famous about them is if you read uh, the work of Goethe, Faust, you can read that during the night of Walburgs, there are a lot of magic creatures are coming to broken to these stones and meet together and make some <laughs> interesting deals. So this is the famous stones and people who are hiking and making um, Goethe Weg, Goethe Way, they are coming here and um, this is very interesting place. I can't explain you how I feel inside, it's unusual. Maybe there are a lot of people and also, you know, maybe because of that, but I think it's something special here. And um, today it's 30 of April. Tomorrow will be 1st of May. So today's night is Waldburg's night. And I already feel certain energy and uh, excitement that it's the first thing historically it was a celebration of um, that the spring is coming and uh, yeah there is also a celebration of the things that are coming with a good weather that the things will grow the plants will grow so people celebrate on the top of the hills and give a certain thing to the gods to to have a good further months and uh, yeah, then historically it starts saying that uh, yeah, a lot of witches and magical creatures are coming here to celebrate uh, and do some interesting things. So uh, I already made one round around these stones and uh, I will show you what is down on the ground. It's 205 kilometers to go to Berlin and here you can see that around these stones you can see this like a circle so yeah people are walking around and looking and uh, here right there right there uh, I was uh, sitting in the restaurant and uh, eating I think you can go and climb up to the hill um, sorry up to this building to see some more information also and look around and uh, uh, as I read in the internet uh, there was a tele uh, communication things maintained here because it's very high point so uh, what I'm going to do now I think I will continue my way and I see a lot of people are walking this way so I will follow this way a bit and then slowly go back to Goethe back, go back and down from the hill. So I found the safety selfie stuff here. It seems like it was some time this thing stayed here. I see like it was under the rain. What do you think? Should I take it or should I leave it? What do you think? Because I see that more or less no one around here who who uses it seems so. So, I don't know, should I take it or should I leave it? What do you think? Guys, if you are the owner of this selfie, selfie stuff, tell me. <laughs> if it's really your stuff, then I can send you back. I 
I'm just right now using it. I never thought that I will use a selfie stand. I don't know how it's in English, but it's quite comfortable to use it, honestly speaking. I didn't expect that. <laughs> So it's less than 10 kilometers. I'm going back to Turf House and this small nice river is near me. So I'm very close to finish this interesting getaway. back to the city and it's quite interesting here a lot of people are going around 
I just saw the beat of people who dressed uh, for today's night celebration. But I'm right now going to the center of the city. Just want to check what's up there. The weather is great again. Sun shining, kids, people around. It's a very nice mood. So when I will have time, I hope to go to see the Siemens house. And right now, I will go here. This is like handmade store, so let's see. So this is the entrance. So on the left side it's like wooden and clay studio, on the right side is like uh, art and workers. So. So especially for today. Okay, they have um, soy candle, and uh, I think most of them are paraffin. And I feel the smell already outside, so they with smell already. And this is made out of glass, like vases and some different decoration element. That is very impressive. Look, it's so sweet. It's made out of wood. When you look on the sun, this is especially beautiful because of sunlight. Glass work. And right now I'm in a glass studio, so let's go inside. This is very nice solution for candles, so you have to put the candle inside, like here, and because of the glass it will have a certain effect during the night when, when you put it on the dark room, so there are different styles of them. So it's say for people who have everything and here there is a small thing that you can put I have everything <laughs> This is so funny oh, guys, This is what I really really like Ah, this is so great Especially the small one, look at it I wish to have all of them <laughs> and then make uh, small cookies so they have different types and also for I see the Christmas time and also like Halloween and spring time oh, this is very cool also old-fashioned one nice so for those who like jewelry, a lot of jewelry out of glass, but also made from wood. Some of them are very thin and elegant. Some of them are from my personal point of view. And some of them are fun. Look, this is ananas. Ah, cool. <laughs> I'm not sure what is it exactly. 
Yeah. Yeah. It seems like this is like a small friend and the function that this friend is doing. This is like a small devil or very, very interesting. Okay, and lucky pig. It's a super talent that they make a small witches out of glasses. And, uh, small babies. And think he should I take one of it? Take it home? What do you think? Should I do it? Or not? Tell me. Haha. <laughs> I just bought a small baby for myself, so I will bring it home and uh, bring some small happiness, small souvenir from Bosler. And now the plan is that I will slowly go to the guest house to take some refreshment because uh, I was hiking today a long time so I want to take a shower to charge my batteries and also the batteries of my <laughs> phone to record everything for you and uh, yeah this is the plan and maybe on the way I will buy some, some some things maybe some souvenirs because the shops are still open and uh, yeah everywhere you can see this wonderful ladies so probably a little check or maybe some postcard guys what do you think should i take it as a gift to some nice people So right now I'm trying to get inside the bus because it's absolutely full of people. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> so many people who wanted to enter from uh, Goslar to go to this place and I'm, I'm very feel sorry for the people who have no chance to enter like five people were outside and then the driver said guys sorry I cannot take you and after one station ten people left and then these ten people left then they have this space so I'm feeling so sad oh look Hear the music? This is like a big party. So many people are here. Wow, this is this is impressive. Let's try to enter inside. So you can see here there is a lot of dream catchers. And uh, if you try it and touch it, most probably it's synthetic. Yes, so I touch it and it's you know it's like synthetic. And there is no information from which from which uh, birds it took and if they were alive or not. So be careful when you take this.
Good morning, my favorite people. So, today is 1st of May. 1st of May. And uh, yeah, I will spend a very short time in Goslar. And uh, as you can see, the weather is a bit different today. Like it's cloudy and not a lot of sun. But I get, as you can see my face, uh, a lot of sun yesterday. <laughs> I was not um, expected to have so much sun, so I didn't uh, take with me the sun cream, and that is, was my mistake. So guys, uh, the one who will hike, even if you think it will be cloudy and probably not a lot of sun, please take a sun cream, take a small one, put it at least on your face. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, you will have so wonderful uh, a bit red face as I. And uh, yes, look at this. Really beautiful. Oh, really beautiful one. So let's see what is in the city. Because yesterday there was a a big party in uh, Goslar 2. I don't know when it finished. Maybe it was till morning. Probably not. But uh, when I left, it was still music was playing. People were celebrating. So let's check the city. How was it after some hours? So you can see here there is um, a Siemens house, it's quite huge and historically, as I saw, um, this house, the first one, was there and uh, yeah, there is a huge history inside and uh, there is also a museum so people who want to 
check it out what is inside they can go and have a look and uh, what i really like it's the sense of architecture you feel like even i'm standing close i feel it's so old it's so huge and uh, yeah a bit strange feeling <laughs> but it's very very interesting and if you can see there is a saying here and it says that pray and work so guys we have to work <laughs> we have to work Interesting fact, when you are in a small cities in Europe, people say hi to you or good morning in the morning, even if they don't know you and this is so sweet, like you are walking down the street and then the person say hey good morning, good morning, Morgan, and this is so sweet, so nice. Yeah. Well then. <laughs> and yeah, I already stopped doing that fast. Because in the big cities, in the biggest cities in Germany, people don't do that. At least what I saw. So Goslar gave me very nice feeling and impression about the people who are living here. Very friendly. <laughs> Where you can see here, um, historically it was the first square in Goslar, so as you can see it's very very small, so historically it was the main square of the city, now because city was growing, the big square it's another one where we had a party yesterday, so it's right here. Yeah, I mean, I see some small uh, garbage in the street, but still they try to clean it as fast as possible, even if it's close to 9 o'clock in the morning. They are trying to to make it clean, so yeah.
So this place called Wolf Bakery and uh, the staff are very friendly. If you don't speak English, some of them can speak with you. And the breakfast were very simple, but uh, I very enjoy staying there. So I was drinking my cacao and uh, <laughs> I was reading uh, some part of Goethe Faust because uh, I printed some few pages because I really want to to read at least a bit in German and yes so in some steps I'm already in the main train station so I will take a ticket on the way back home Goslar very nice time here so guys my train will come in a few minutes and I uh, just want to tell you the last word about this trip it was an amazing trip I met so great people saw the nature of hearts region celebrate Valpurg's night so so many interesting things here in this weekend and today it's the first of may so holiday day and i will enjoy the rest of it i want to tell you if you really want to visit this place feel free to do that uh, if you are the person who like hiking who like walking in the nature there are different roads so i went to broken but also there are some different hills and mountains around so you can have a short hiking tour here and uh, when next year there will be Valpurgs, Valpurgs, yes Valpurgs <laughs> Nacht uh, so this night of magic feel free to come to Goslar or to other cities around and my favorite people I wish you all the best